Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Moonbeam Beanie, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. There's also other photos on RichTexturesCrochet.com. And I have my sample one here. This is a beautifully textured, fairly light texture uh, beanie. I've worked it with a double thick brim, so that's extra warm and extra cozy, but uh, I'll give you instruction how to switch that up later if you'd like. The beanie is worked from the bottom up to the top, all as one piece. Uh, it's a seamless beanie. You will see a little bit of a seam in your ribbing there though, but the rest of it is seamless. Now, uh, today in the tutorial, we will be working an adult size, so with a 20 to 22 inch circumference. For the design today, I have worked it in the Color Theory yarn by Two of Wands and the Lime Brand yarn. Uh, in the photos, you will see me using the Moonbeam color. And uh, you're going to need about one and a half balls for it. Each ball has about 250 yards in it. So you're going to need one and a half balls of it. Uh, it's a worsted weight, number four weight, 100% uh, acrylic yarn. You're also going to need a 4.5 or a G7 crochet hook and links to these items can be found in the description. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to take a look around, subscribe, there's lots of other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials and it's updated weekly. Now our Moonbeam beanie is worked from the bottom up, so we're going to start by taking our yarn and making a slip knot. We're going to work the brim. You're going to begin by working a foundation chain of 26 chains. Now this is if you would like to have a double thick brim. If you don't want to have a brim that you fold over, I recommend chaining about 13, so about half. So Today I'm going to work the double thick as I have in the photo, so I'm going to start by chaining 26. Just like so. Once you have your foundation chain worked, we're going to start by working a slip stitch into the second chain from our hook and then into each chain all the way across. Now if you're not a fan of the slip stitches, feel free to switch up these stitches with single crochet or half double crochet, but otherwise you're going to slip stitch in the second chain and then each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row two and for your repeat rows, you're going to slip stitch working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have a front loop, which is this loop that's closest to you and you have a back loop that's furthest away from you. So you're going to insert your hook under this back loop only and slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one, turn your work and repeat slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. You're going to continue repeating row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches and that's when the fabric is relaxed and laid flat. So go ahead, repeat row two until you have the desired length and then meet me back here. Once you've worked your 16 to 17 inches for your brim, this is what it's going to look like, should have a fair bit of stretch to it. What we're going to do is you're going to fold it over 
so that your two shorter ends meet and you're going to work a slip stitch seam all the way down. So what you're going to do is insert your hook in the back loop only of the first side, go across, insert your hook in the back loop only of the second side, and then work a slip stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across the brim of your hat and it's going to join the two sides together. Once you come all the way across, you're going to turn your brim so that you're now working along this rough top long edge. If you are working the long brim as I am, you're going to leave it inside out so that way when you fold up, your seam will be on the inside. If you were going to work a shorter brim that you're not going to fold up, you will want to turn your brim right side out so that the right side is facing you when you work this row round. So for round one now of the hat body, we're going to chain one and we're going to evenly work 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So I'm just inserting my hook where it feels comfortable all the way around. If it helps, you can place a stitch marker about uh, halfway around and work half on one side, half on the other. But you'll want about 84 stitches. Now, if you need to change the size of your beanie, uh, the stitch count is not too, too important for this one. So you can simply work to the circumference that you would like. When we come to the decreases, you'll just have to adjust your stitch counts a little bit as you go if you're changing the size. So go ahead, work 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around for the adult size. Once you've worked 84 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round two of the hat body, we're going to chain one and we're going to continue working half double crochet stitches, this time working in the third loop. So when you look at the front of your stitch, and the top of your stitch, you have your front loop and your back loop. If you flip it over, running just under that back loop is what we call the third loop. So I'll show you that. So we have our front loop, our back loop, flip it over and you have your third loop running just along under the back loop. So you're going to work a half double crochet working in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. So half double crochet in the third loop all the way around. At the end of your round two, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. For round three, we're going to continue working in the third loop only. And this time we're just going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So working in that third loop only, single crochet in each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch.
When you come all the way around at the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and at this time we're going to turn our work. This is going to force our stitches to sit in an, the opposite direction of the ones before and give us a little bit more of a unique pattern. So what we're going to do now is once again work one more round of herringbone stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a, drop a loop, drawing it through the first loop on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of these rounds, you should continue to have a total of 84 stitches. At the end of round five, you're going to chain, uh, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and once again, turn your work. So after each of these herringbone stitch rounds, you're going to want to make sure you ch uh, chain one and turn. For rounds, round six, we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round six, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Now for the rest of the body of the hat, you're going to for rounds 7 through to 21, repeat rounds 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 three more times. So your round 2 was the working in the third loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. That was your round 2 and then so forth. So you're going to repeat rounds 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 for a total of three more times. That will bring you to the end of round 21. You're then going to repeat round two once more. That will bring you to the end of round 22. And then you're going to meet me back here and we will work the decrease in your hat. Once you complete through to round 22, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. You're now ready to start the decrease in the top of your hat. So we're going to close it off. What we're going to do for round 23 is chain one and continuing to work in the third loop, we're going to start by working a single crochet into each of the first 10 stitches. Next, you're going to work a single crochet two together over the next two stitches, continuing to work in the third loop. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your single crochet two together. You're then going to repeat to work one single crochet in the third loop of each of the next 10 stitches. followed by a single crochet, two stitches together. Repeat this all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. 
at the end of round 23, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 24, we're going to chain one. You're going to work a herringbone half double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops. You're then going to continue to, uh, working a repeat uh, herringbone half double crochet in each of the next nine stitches, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 24 you're going to chain one and turn. For round 25, now I'll just note that I did add in my new ball of yarn so I'm going to be working over a couple of tails of tails as I work here just so you're aware. For round 25 we're going to work a herringbone half double crochet into each of the first eight stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that herringbone half double crochet over each of the next eight stitches followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round 25, you're going to join with the slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one, and once again, turn your work. For round 26, we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and each of the next six stitches. So half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches in total. and then half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches followed by half double crochet two stitches together. Once you come all the way to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and uh, we're not going to turn our work. At the end of round 27, we're going, or sorry, 26, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. For round 27, we're going to work in the third loop once again and behind, and we're going to begin by working a half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next six stitches. followed by a half double crochet two stitches together 
also once again worked in the third loops of the stitches below. You're going to repeat that all the way around one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches followed by a half double crochet two stitches together in the third loop and uh, all the way around then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round 28, we're going to chain one. Once again, working in the third loop, you're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet in each of the next five stitches, followed by a single crochet, two stitches together, join with the slip stitch in the first stitch. For round 29, we're going to chain one, work a herringbone half double crochet stitch into each of the next four stitches. We're working under both loops. And then a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around herringbone half double crochet in each of the next four stitches followed by a half double crochet two stitches together and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 29, we're going to chain one and turn our work. For round 30, we're going to work a herringbone half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around herringbone half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together all the way around and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 30, chain one and turn your work. For round 31, we're going to work a herringbone half double crochet into each of the first two stitches, followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, herringbone half double crochet in each of the next two stitches then a half double crochet two stitches together all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Right, round 32 you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're going to work a herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch followed by a half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around herringbone half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 32, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you're going to fasten off leaving a fairly long tail. You're then going to take a yarn needle, thread your tail through the yarn needle 
and turn your hat inside out, just tucking that needle through the center hole. You're then going to take the yarn needle and yarn and you're going to thread your needle in and out through the top round of stitches. So I'm just inserting my hook in and out through the spaces that I would normally insert my crochet hook. Just gives it a little bit less resistance when we go to close the top of our hat. So in and out through that top round of stitches all the way around. When you come back to the starting point, you're then going to simply pull the top of your beanie closed. Next, secure it just with a little knot. That's why we're making sure that we're working on the inside of our hat. You can then go ahead, weave in your end. Fasten off. Go ahead and weave in any other ends that you might have there and then turn your beanie right side out. And that is it for your moon bean beanie. You can then go ahead and add a pom-pom if you'd like or leave the beanie as is. That's it. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.